Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Season 4, The Large Herbivorous Dinosaurs. Doyle the Triceratops, a real warrior among herbivorous dinosaurs. Scientific name, Triceratops. Period, Late Cretaceous. Fossils found in Western North America. Description. With a body length of 9 meters, Triceratops was the largest ceratopsian. It had a huge head frill above its neck, a horn above each eye, and a large horn on the nose. Its body and limbs were strong, and it was an excellent defender. The ceratopsians were herbivorous dinosaurs that had reached the climax of evolution. They used horns and head frills to scare predators. The Triceratops was both the most well-known ceratopsian and one of the big dinosaur stars. This is Doyle the Triceratops. Doyle was a male 8 meters long, 3 meters tall, and weighed about 6 tons. The body was large and strong, and its limbs sturdy. Each of its forelimbs had five short hoof-like toes, while the hind limbs had four, making its feet like that of an elephant's. Doyle's most noticeable feature was its extraordinary head. A triceratops skull was more than two meters long, accounting for almost one-third of the total length of the body. The head frill was shorter, and the serrations on the edge of the head frill were blunt. The head frill, a common feature of ceratopsians, was formed by the parietal and quadratrogical bones. The outer edge of the head frill had a horn-like structure formed by intradermal osteoderms. When ceratopsians were alive, the surfaces of these horns were wrapped in a keratin structure, making them look strikingly sharp. They were arranged to form a serration, apparently an effective defense. Most ceratopsians head frills had large holes, which reduced the weight of the frill without losing any surface area, but Triceratops was different. The head frill was solid with no holes. The strong head frill might have played a defensive role. In addition to its possible defensive role, male and female Triceratops head frills might have subtle differences. Researchers think that male frills were larger and looked more intimidating. The weapons of Doyle the Triceratops included not only the frill, but also the three keratin-covered bone horns that protrude above the eyes and on the snout. Among them, the brow horns were more than one meter long and looked deadly. Different Triceratops individuals had different brow horns. For example, what were thought to be male Triceratops had parallel ones, while females had ones facing different directions. Still, both male and female's horns were powerful weapons. In the event of an attack, Triceratops would not hesitate to stab the opponent with its brow horns. What did Triceratops look like? We used to think that its face was completely covered by scales, like all other dinosaurs, but some controversial recent research suggests that the face of the Triceratops was covered with a huge keratinous structure like wearing a mask made of a turtle shell. In this interpretation, only the eyes, nostrils, cheeks, and chin had elastic skin. Apart from its face, our common knowledge of the skin of Triceratops is also now updated. Researchers have discovered that a large part of its body, from the back to the tail, was not covered by scales but by hard thorns like porcupines. Although such structures have been found in many herbivorous dinosaurs, such as Cetacosaurus and Tianyulong, its discovery on the Triceratops was very recent. This completely changed our ideas of how Triceratops looked. However, regardless of whether our idea of how Doyle the Triceratops looked remains the same, it was a remarkable animal. They were brave warriors that dared to fight against a fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yang Yang, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantastic journey.